You're watching Ned the Dead and Doc Moreau. Check out their stuff at nedthedead.com. It's the Dead the Dead Show. You know, if there's two things I like, it's swamp. You know, I love swamp. I like the wetness. I like the darkness. I like the smell. I like the feel. And the other thing, women. And that's it. Yeah. And women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell our crew, uh, mainly male. Mainly male. Tell you what, you put the two together, you got swamp women. To me, that's an invitation for a delectable evening of enjoyment. And that's what we hope we have for you right here on the Old Dead the Dead Show. Coming up here, it's Doc Moreau, my big beautiful friend. He knows all, he tells all. All, oh, here we go. Swamp Women marked the directorial debut of Roger Corman, legendary master of the low budget movie. And in the first segment, that con man picking pockets, that's Jonathan Hayes, who would go on to play Seymour in Corman's Little Shop of Horrors. But Swamp Women is all about the bad girls. There's Jill Jarman as Billy, maybe most famous for a real life cat fight with screen star Susan Hayward. According to lore, Jill lost. Josie is played by Marie Windsor, who played her bad girl role so convincingly, she received many Bibles in the mail from moviegoers urging her to repent for her silver screen sins. Baddest of them all, Vera, played by Beverly Garland, who I remember best for marrying Fred McMurray on TV's My Three Sons. But get this, she is considered to have been the first actress to star in a TV drama. Now, so much for the ladies. In the days when actors had stage names like Rock or Rip, Mike Connors was billed as Touch, which he ascribes to his college basketball days. Of course, Mike Connors is best known for starring in eight seasons of TV's most violent private detective show, Mannix. In 194 episodes, he was shot 17 times and knocked out 55 times. You know, two of his Swamp Women co-stars guest starred on Mannix. Oddly, they also both guest starred on Gunsmoke, which in 1967 lost its Saturday night time slot to Mannix. Gunsmoke, people! You done been lord. Ned? Hey, it's Doc Moreau. It's Doc's movie lore. He's just got it all, man. He listens, he watches, he pays attention. He actually... 
He lives this. It's a little scary, but hey, that's Doc Murrow. All right, everybody, it's Swamp Women. Yeah. Maybe your daddy told him my oil well looks good, huh? Bob. He owns an oil well? Oh, that would explain that black, shiny hair. However can you say such a thing? Oh, I was only kidding. The beginning of the crew of Rex. The crew? Yeah, they're the clubs that conduct the carnival. that I've got my eye on some new oil land. Oh, really? Well, where is it, honey? Middle of some of the meanest country in the world. Where's that? Swampland, bayou country, jungle. I didn't know there was such a thing around here. I sure would like to go and see that jungle with you. No, I doubt that. That's real wild country for such a pretty young lady. I guess those are just the horrors of being with a wildcat oil man. <laughs> yeah. I bet you don't think I could take it. Maybe. But I could. Think so? Why don't you let me prove it? Honey, I could do anything as long as I was with you. So you want to go to the bayou? Mm-hmm. Man, she really digs that black oily hair. You think your daddy will let you? Oh, he'll let me do anything with you. He thinks that you're going... <laughs> he thinks that you're just wonderful. Yeah, we might try it at that. Come on, let's go. Honey, will we go into the bayou all alone? Two of us? No, baby, we'll have to have a guide. Oh, you can find your way without any old guide. I'm not sure I'd live to tell the tale. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? I'm sorry, Mr. I didn't mean to scare you, little girl. And don't jump out and start calling people. Be a sport, will you, pal? Be a sport. Give me a little money for a cup of coffee. Hmm? Sure. Here, buy yourself a dozen cups. Black. And oily. Dude, those loose chicks love it black and oily. Ha <laughs> ha! Me too.
baby. Oh, just perfect, honey. Say, buddy, could you spare a little old time? I just gave you some. Hey, just a minute. You got quite a bit of my money, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about, bud. Come on, hand it over. Let go of me. All right, Charlie, let's go see the judge again. What's the matter? Can't a guy have a couple of drinks? Now, where's his money? All I do is invite him for a drink. How much of this is yours? Oh, about 50 or 60, I guess. Well, you can pick it up at the station house. Look, there's no sense in turning him in. I should have had him figure. The Mardi Gras rough enough without having guys like this around. I don't know who you think I am, but all I do is have How many floats did I miss, baby? Oh, Bob, honey. You're just so strong and big and brave. I don't know what I'd do without you. My little Bayou baby, huh? Yes, Lieutenant. I'll call him here. Say, lady, this length can I the guy for having a couple of drinks during my evening? Of course, officer, he's not drunk. I am, too. Oh, no, you're not. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to take this away from me so cleverly. If I were drunk, I wouldn't have been able to take it back. Captain Goodrich will see you now. Thank you. Officer, book him. Officer Bookham? It's a great name for a cop. Yeah, his partner is Officer Shootem, but he's currently suspended without pay. Officer Shootem? Okay. Oh, that mob out there is really something. A little above and beyond the line of duty. Huh? It certainly is. So is your plan, Lee. It might work, Captain. You do realize if it doesn't work, what's likely to happen to you? Yes, sir. But the longer we do nothing, the harder it is in the police department. People are critical. We've gone through that before. The Nardo Diamonds have been missing for three years. The Nardo men died in the electric chair. And their women are in prison. And where the diamonds are, nobody knows. Yes, the public has their ideas on that subject. Seems to me we have to find them. Lee, you're probably the finest policewoman I've ever known. Thank you, sir. You're right, and your plan's right. Josie Nardo and those other girls are bound to know where the diamonds are. Of course they do. So, if we put you in prison, you escape with the Nardo girls, you'll know where the diamonds are. I think you'll stick around and tell us what you find out. <laughs> what do you think you ought to send me to jail for? Bravery. Dealing my heart. <laughs> you'll vote here in barracks C with the Nardo girls on the second floor. Any electric alarms on the window? No. Well, the fence is here, a direct line. And the car? The car, behind this clump of trees. Every night? Every night. You pick your own time of departure. Sooner the better. It's got to be shooting, Lee. We'll miss. I hope so. And you're going to be pursued. Unsuccessfully, of course. And from there, they take me to the diamonds. I'll give you all the protection I can. But we've got to be careful. The slightest suspicion, they'll kill you. Yes, sir. Sergeant Morrison will take you to the prison tomorrow morning. Thank you, sir. You're taking on a mighty big job, Lee. I guess I can't resist my share of the diamonds, sir. Good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Hey everybody, it's the Dead the Dead Show. Doc, come on and do your weird L move. There it is. There he, it's almost like he's serpentine. He's, oh no, don't be wasted. He's serpentine. Ser serpentine. <laughs> what did, where did serpentine come from, do you think? What is that? I don't know. It may be a myth. They tell you you won't get shot if you run serpentine, but... Is but that could, what they said? You run serpentine? I know what happens. If I run serpentine, I end up smacking into a tree or something like that. You know, in fact, the older I get, the more serpentine all of life becomes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm kind of no. reeling part of the time. Hey, what do you think about oh. Swamp Women, my friend? Well, I, I hope you guys dig it. I've been I've been pulling for this one for a while. It's a detour. <laughs> wait, wait. From seven. <laughs> could you rephrase all of wait. that? <laughs> Go ahead. What? You hope you it's dig it. Have you been <laughs> preparing? Well, <laughs> right. We've been showing movies from the seventies and eighties for a while okay. here now. Yeah. We've gone back to nineteen fifty-five tonight, but it is in color. All right. It's pretty good color. Oh yeah. It's got some babes in it. It's oh, got good. Mannix in it. Man, from the great insane. private eye show. Oh. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's go enjoy more now. 
As America steps out into space, we're discovering ways to pack delicious meals into new forms. Such a discovery is New Carnation Instant Breakfast. Gives your family vitamin C, the fresh orange juice vitamin. As much protein as two fresh eggs. As much mineral nourishment as two strips of crisp bacon. Plus more energy than two slices of buttered toast. All in a good tasting, satisfying breakfast you drink. Carnation Instant Breakfast, the mix that makes milk a balanced meal. Just add milk and stir. Your whole family will love it, hot or cold. Five delicious flavors in your store's cereal section. New Carnation Instant Breakfast. Hey, we're back with you here. What do you think, Schmink? Hey, you probably figured it out by now, but tonight, Vicky is joining us in the in the cut-ins. She's watching the movie. The cut-ins. Let's us. not see. We're using our, it's our parlance here at, do you think I talk over people's heads when I say parlance? Do you think they know what that means? <laughs> parlance? I don't know. Wait, do don't you know. know what it is, of course, right? Yes, of All course. Right. So, well, good. I, didn't, I, I knew you did. It I mean, plays into our acumen. That's right, our parlanious <laughs> acumen. <laughs> I actually had an infection in my acumen at one point. Oh, and it, oh it was. It actually oh. became acuwomen. Yeah. That was bad. It got big. It swelled. It, became acu it wasn't acumen anymore. It was oh. acuwomen. Just test the front. Just only test the front. Ugh. I don't trust that thing. Don't test the front touching me with it. All right. All right, everybody. Once again, we're deeply enthralled in swamp women. Where are we headed with acumen? It was going to be good. It was. I was going somewhere good. I got derailed. I got to say, I get derailed more than uh, Canada Pacific. Or is that a railroad? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Wisconsin Central. you out of here. Do I? I'll leave her alone. Stay out of this. Leave her alone. She got in my way. Want to knock somebody around? Try your own size. Like who? Me. Why don't you shut up? Well, if you two ain't a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about your eyes, but I sure got a sore back. Not from working. What's up, Josie? Well, I just thought I'd drop around. Get yourself put in the brig for being down here. And you may be a trustee. Huh. We got a new roommate. Oh, boy, they sure like to make trouble for us, don't they? She's crazier than a bed bug. How can you tell? She's only been here three hours. She wants to go over the wall. Huh. Don't sound so crazy to me. Oh, we let her climb over the wall. They shoot her and we're rid of her. Caught out that talking in there. Look can I take me move. Move it. Shut up. Oh, both of you shut up. Don't you know we're very hard to get along with? Well, I wasn't thinking of a pleasure trip. Oh, what were you thinking of? Suicide? No. Bernardo Diamonds. <laughs> Wouldn't you just like to get your hands on them? Wouldn't you? Look, we've been in there for three lousy years. What makes you think right away you can crash this joint? Well, I did something you three girls didn't do. Man, I didn't think we'd miss nothing. Such as what? On my way in, I planned a way out. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. Get off of here. Bring me that case of tea. What makes you so sure we'll split with you? What makes you sure that I'll take you with me? How do you know the car will be there? He'll be there. Who's putting it there? None of your business. Who's putting what where? That's none of your business, Norton. <laughs> That's all. Boy, she sure thinks she's hot. I think she is, too, if she can get us out of here. We've been doing a little planning, too. It's a long drop. What's the matter? No guts. It takes more than guts. So after we make the drop, we need your car. How much are the diamonds worth? Well, any bandit will give us 200 grand. 
Can you find them? I can find them. I get 50 grand. Yeah, 50 grand. If you get there and back. All right, girls. Use those baby trees for cover. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they should have waited another three years. Huh, Doc? Serpentine, girls. Yeah. Serpentine. Yeah. for where we're going. And given up. Boy, I should do wish I could have taken a couple of shots at them. Josie, you think Louie will give us a couple of guns? He will if he knows what's good for him. How long do you think it's going to take us, Josie? Well, with a couple of days with the boys, I don't see how we can do much better. On foot? On foot, it'd take about a couple of years. Louie will give us a boat. We got a few things on Louie. <laughs> What's on your mind? Nobody has any guns yet. If it weren't for me, you'd all rot in jail. I want to make sure I get that 50 grand. We keep bargains. I just thought I'd tell you. I'm a good shot. If you try anything, I'll kill all three of you. And if you try something, we'll kill you. Yeah, we'll kill all three of you. I, I mean, all one of you. <laughs> Looking for our diamonds after crashing out the joint in our pink Cadillac, pink Cadillac. So what are we looking at here? Giant leeches? Killer shrews? Not this week, just cat fights in the swamp. And that works for me. Honey, it's lovely. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Just lovely. But then of course, after you got a few little old oil wells, you wouldn't have to spend any time on the nasty old jungle. 
Hey. <laughs> oh, it's so good to have Vicki Vixen added to the oh, mix of our sweet. little show. I'm really enjoying it. But I got I to gotta tell you something. Inga has told me to be careful not to be, not to inappropriately fraternize <laughs> with the female talent on the show because I'm old enough to be her but, dad. But, you know, it's so, fine. He, he inappropriately but, fraternizes I was, all the time. I was wondering if I could at least be a creepy dad like Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> oh, God. So, we'll see how that works out. And you're what joining are you us doing in the Hey, everybody, how you doing? I'm just hanging out, just listening. I was just listening. I don't know, nothing, uh, nothing unusual. You move around while you're just listening. Just, well, you know, I gotta. Is that normal for gotta you? Gotta keep my herky He's jerky action rolling on, sweetheart. I'll tell I you that. I think you need to get that checked out. Maybe he I'll doesn't you, keep you moving. Don't get to be, you don't get to be 50 oh, and man. this. You don't get to be 50 and this without making that stuff. You gotta work at it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta I groove. Guess. You gotta get some. <laughs> keep some, moving or you die. I got some hitch in my locomotion. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I actually have. I actually have some moisture in my mandinga. Sorry about that. Oh, bad visuals. But then, there's another handy way to get around and have fun doing it. The Renault Dauphine, the car made in France to make driving fun again. Balloons, please. Now, there's lots to talk about, so let's make the camera go fast. Watch for the fun car with the balloons. First, see the Dauphine's maneuverability in traffic. Look how it gets around and how it corners. Special axle design does that. And see how it accelerates and climbs. Driving economy gets up to 40 miles a gallon. Parking? <laughs> the big car couldn't get in the space. But watch this. With the Renault Dauphine, everybody's an expert. Lots of room for you to park inside. Handy as roller skates and twice the fun. Even has a city horn and a country horn. That's the Renault Dauphine. At any of 600 coast-to-coast -coast sales, service, and parts headquarters. Won't you try it? Hey, everybody, it's an End the Dead show. Coming up right now, one of our favorite things. It's going to be Steve's Small Town News. Oh, I like that. Well, here's something I want you people to know. First of all, you know what? We're not dissing anything about the small town because in reality, our area here and many areas all around the country made up of small town folks. These are salt yes. of the earth, decent, honest people. We want you to know, with no kidding, you know, we really do. We love you people. And this is kind of a testament to you. It's a special thing. And Steve loves you too because he's a real small town guy and now it's time for the small town news with steve thanks ned once again i'm really glad to be part of your show some news bulletins dexter sparks stole a municipal garbage truck and turned it over in hung soy's koi pond so anybody got a winch big enough to pull this truck out of the pond come on down to the shack no bob i don't mean your wife once was enough that's all I got. I'm Steve with the Small Town News. Keep your tip up and stay off the cracks. Hey, there we go. I'll tell you. Is, is he still ice fishing? Oh, yeah. There, there's no cracks to no, keep I off No, I think of he fell through a crack a long time ago. <laughs> you know, there's something involving crack in him. He, I don't know he that. Crack, he <laughs> cracks me up. I don't know if he fell through a crack, but I know there's crack involved. Let's put it that way, because the stuff no. he says is mighty unusual. You know what he I mean? He cracks me up. I know. I he's agree a, with you. He's a cracker. It's excellent stuff. <laughs> Once again, Red, he's a, he's a cracker. <laughs> that he is. I would agree with that. I think uh, you look up uh, cracker in the dictionary, you got premium saltines and Steve. <laughs> this is really a great time to spring a leaf. If I ever see that lousy Louie again, I'll break his neck. Josie, what do we do now? Hitch a ride, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, look over there. What's your problem, girls? Bob, honey, I'm frightened. What do they want? Just the boat pulled into shore. Now, wait a minute. What do you think this is? We go to boat. <laughs> Do 
these kittens got claws. Those minxes just manhandled Mannix. Yeah. If you're not splashing high enough. Ooh, kind of a girls of prison break. Dude, never break up a chick fight. <laughs> What's the matter? That guy was in a cocky over the head with an oar, and I shot him, and she jumped me. I'll hold it. Why'd you do that? There shouldn't be any shooting. What's the matter, you chicken? In case you want to know, shots make noise, and noise carries. There's no reason why we should attract any more attention than we have to. Says who? She's got a point. Now quit the fighting. Give her back her gun. All right. No hard feelings. That's what you think. That's what I think. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You could have killed him. Well, we didn't, did we? Oh, we should have. We didn't see much else we can do. Well, I'll just wait till he wakes up so he'll know what hit him. Maybe I better not. Oh, hold it. Will you let me alone? You're crazy for that gun. Knock it off. You got a better suggestion? Yeah, hold them both as hostages. Well, we got a long trip ahead of us. We might run into trouble. I'd like something to bargain with, and they do. Diamonds and guns ain't enough of a bargain. Get that piece of rope over there. Oh, get it yourself. She's right. We better tie him up. Come on, hurry there. I could kind of go for him. Nice enough looking. I'm just a piece of meat to them. I feel so dirty. Wonder who he is. Couldn't be a friend of yours, could he? You know, I got a feeling you don't like me. You know, I got a feeling you're right. You okay? I guess so. What's the story? Man, don't you read the papers? Once in a while. Ever heard of the Nardo gang? Yeah. Heard they're a pretty rough group. You just remember that. Okay, Red. Oh, Bob, honey. What are they going to do to us? Shut up. She's got a good question. What are you going to do? Stick around, then you'll know, too. Kidnapping, maybe? If you're lucky. What's your name? Bob. Bob Matthews. Not worth much in this kidnapping game. Yeah, that's very discouraging. That's your wife? No. Just a friend. Some friend. Look, if you don't stop your crying, I'll give you something to cry about. Yeah. One more girl we don't need. What can I do for you? We had a leaky boat with no motor. Anyway, we like yours better. And you're off on a cruise, huh? Love, exciting and new, come on board, we're, we're kidnapping, kidnapping you. Yeah. Why'd you have to kill a guide? Self-defense. I see. Well, come on, let's get going. Head up, stream, keep her down the middle. You see that Who's thing? Who's pimping who? Oh, I know. Zach yeah. went a little crazy there. <laughs> he's, boy, he's getting all hyper again. <laughs> I wish you people could see. We know we figured, coming up maybe one of these years, we're going to put a cam on the crew, and then we'll cut to it every once in a while, because it is so funny to watch. You know, 
You watch like news shows, the crew, they just stand with their stupid headphones and eh, go ahead, Tom Broca, go ahead. And you know, uh, Brian Williams, go ahead, mm-hmm. whoever you are, you know, mm-hmm. Lester, Holt, whatever it is. <laughs> and they're all boring and stuff. Our crew are there wasted. They're funk- <laughs> I mean, wasted in a, they're wasted in a, not that they're wasted, but they're just, they're out goofy. there. Goofy. They're goofy. It's Siberia. And if you can see what they do and the looks they have, you'd love it, I promise. Thunderstreak, 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 the new super speed hydrofoil with five position hydrofins you set for action. Rev up high powered prop. Position rudder, check your course. Thunderstreak speeds across water. For submarine action, it crash dives underwater. Thunderstreak propels itself on maneuvers. You can make it turn. Make it roll or bank. Then, Thunderstreak rises, surfaces, and speeds away. Take Thunderstreak on snow patrol. It even skates over ice. Thunderstreak goes anywhere, so snap on Land Cruiser wheels and race with Thunderstreak on land, on ice, underwater, overwater. Thunderstreak, there's nothing in the world like Thunderstreak, made only by Ideal. Oh, there it is, my friend. There was the move. You know, the silkiness. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I want to say, too. I just want to say, you know, the show, we're rolling. Everything's fine, right? Ain't, ain't no new show or nothing like that. But I just want to say that uh, coming from where we've come, to be in all this 3D environment <laughs> with all this unbelievable shot of Green Bear to dig, you know, when the show starts, that is some cool stuff right there. So I just feel, I feel nice. That's real, you know what I real mean? uptown stuff. Oh, I know. Because as yeah. I, uh, you know, because everything about me, part of me is like coasting over the top and heading into super old loserville. <laughs> and then part of me is in this Ooh. monstrous rocket ride into modern <laughs> love and television. <laughs> it is. It's like a wacky. That. No, that's, no, no, all right. Your <laughs> side will be the side that's, that's losing it. And then this side will be the crazy, the crazy side. How's that? Here, this side I'll keep that's losing it and this side will be all good I think this, you're having a stroke this is the TV side yeah here's the <laughs> side right this is the more more laid down side I don't want to do much more of that that was that had my underlings doing what they don't want to do Josie how much further we gotta go just till we find a dry spot to land hey look at that <laughs> Bark like a dog. Billy, do jumping jacks. What about him? Oh, man, you sound more like the warden than the warden. Are you complaining? Man, you know I am. <laughs> man, I sure wish she'd shut up. Oh, she's not hurting you. Hand me the salt. She's hurting me if I say she is, and she gives me a pain. There's alligators back there. Big ones? Well, big enough I wouldn't like to stick my foot on top of one in the dark. This minute, ready? In a few minutes. Josie, how much longer you figure it'll take us to get there? Oh, a couple of days, day and a half, we're lucky. Man, I hope I live long enough to get my hands on them diamonds. Well, they sure are holding us up plenty. They may be worth it. For what? We'll see. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. Look, if I bother you, go somewhere else. Oh, cut it! Cut it, I said! Look, nobody talks to me like that. I'll kill that damn... You're killing nobody. Now stop it. Dude, what did we say about breaking up chick fights? To not to. Some of us aren't going to get out of here alive. 
food's ready. Unless you'd rather fight than eat. Ah, oh, shut up. That's her answer for everything. Or shoot him. Take this over to them. What if we don't have enough? We got enough. Oh, that thing makes me sick. <laughs> Please, I want to talk to you. Talk to yourself. <laughs> what do I do now? Feed him? Why not? Some ties hands to eat through. Enjoy yourself. What's for dessert? Boy, you just can't keep away from him, can you? Better not being able to get near him. Would like a drink? Man, who wouldn't? Take a look at my blanket over there. You're kidding! <laughs> It's not enough to slow us up tomorrow. Boy, three years is a long time to be in the jug. The jug? Sure, you know, stir, the slammer, the joint, the pokey. The pokey? What? I don't think I'd like the pokey. What? Hallelujah! Hey, give me some too, you pig. <laughs> Come on, bring it over here. <laughs> Josie, this is crazy. So oh, it's crazy. <laughs> snip, snip here. Snip, snip there. On a diamond hunting romp. That's how we piss the day away. In the smoky old stinking swamp. A lot of girls never run around in pants like a bunch of boys. That's right. Really, these guys are not mean. Yeah, then we'll just cut off her knees. <laughs> oh, hey, Vera. I want mine cut off a little shorter. Do it yourself. It's a little late in the season for cool arts, girls. But Daisy Dukes are always in style. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, baby. Maybe he goes for girls in little blue sweaters. Please leave me alone. Just leave me alone and I'll, I'll give you anything. Like what? Listen. Just get me out of here, honey, and I'll give you whatever you want. How much? Whatever you want. A thousand? Ten. And your boyfriend? You buying him, too? I don't care. Just get me out of here. <laughs> My daddy will give you whatever you want. Hear that, handsome? Your girlfriend's trying to buy a way out, but she doesn't care what happens to you. Isn't that right? Yes, just get me out of here. Oh, I wouldn't wear your lousy sweater if you gave it to me. <laughs> Nice kid. Still a man right down the river. Boy, I sure miss Nikki. Yeah. Joey, Mike. You can just forget about missing Mike. Would we have a ball with those diamonds if the guys were still with us? Well, I'm gonna have a ball without them. I'm gonna go down to Mexico and I'm gonna buy myself a town. <laughs> You're drunk. What do you want with a town? <laughs> I may be drunk. I'm gonna buy a town, I'm gonna buy everybody in it, and I'm gonna order them around the rest of my life. And I'm gonna find me a doctor to cure my lockjaw. You got a better idea? I got a better idea. That's the best idea. I'm gonna find me a doctor, and have him change my whole face around. Cut it up. You ain't that ugly? It ain't ugly at all, you know it. But I ain't gonna look like me no more. I'm gonna get the old little address book. And I'm gonna start with the judge first to set the guys to the chair. And all the folks to the jury. And I'm gonna lost them all. How do you mean? Gonna break up all their happy little 
Uh, make their wives hate them. Their kids. And I'm gonna love them all up. <laughs> Good for you. What are you going to do, Josie? Well, I'll tell you, I got a plan. I'm going to get me a big house south of the border. I'm going to rent rooms to everybody that's on the lamp. The old lady in the shoe. Sure, why not? I figure I can make a good living and make plenty of trouble for the cops at the same time. How about you, Lee? Oh, I don't want to cause no trouble for nobody. I just want to be by myself, that's all. Lone wolf. I can't trust him. I'll take the first watch. Guess he's not going any place. Thanks for the drink. Sure can hold plenty of it. You don't do so bad yourself. Been a while since we did that, ain't it? You may have noticed the night, tonight's movie is not strictly a horror movie, no. which is a little different for us. Unless you have a phobia about rubber alligators, then it might be scary. But otherwise, it's, it's a departure. It's a departure. They don't have to be all wow. horror movies anymore. And I know you and rubber animals, and rubber, particularly <laughs> rubber, uh, particularly rubber, because an alligator is not an animal, what, is what, it? What, it's, what, uh, what? it's, uh, what is it? That's a it's reptile, a reptile. Right. A reptile. Hey, do you guys wonder? A reptile. I, there are some times when I think I have actually raised that. Did you ever notice that? How would I think? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> ladies and mothers. Uh, ladies and mothers. This is a shopping basket. Its purpose is to be filled with good food to keep the family healthy and happy. So mother fills it with vegetables. Because they taste good and are full of vitamins. Uh-huh. Uh and with meat. Because it tastes good and it's full of vitamins and protein. Uh-huh. And, and with, with sugar jets. jets because, because they, they taste, taste delicious. And, and give you vitamins and protein, protein too. too. They're crunchy as ice cream cones. Uh-huh. Uh and they're just sweet enough. Grand for breakfast. And fun for snacks. Helps you grow up. And feel good. Sugar jets are real food. The triple treat of sugar toasted oats and wheat. So jet up with sugar jets. They make you feel jet propelled. Sugar jets. All right for Scottywood. Oh, the, 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 the guys are gonna hate that, aren't the crew? Look at him, look how angry he is. Casey's already like, I hate when those old losers sing. Because it's always just some stupid song that no one will know. You've been I practicing that in the mirror? Did you lying. come up with that in the shower oh, or yeah. on the pot or? No. <laughs> what? You know, I don't think I've ever Scotty had would. one good thought on the pot. Oh, other, than, other than get me out of here. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm not a languisher. I don't languish <laughs> and like, you know, like muse about life. I want to get myself off that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Well, it says now, a lot about your character. All right, Scotty Wood. This is a time when we air awesome movies that are made by folks right around here. Folks that want to get their films on, short films. If you guys are making stuff, this is the place for it Send right here. Send us your shorts. Now, this one is called A Very Sunny Morning, and it's done by Eric Carter. It's oh. A Very Sunny Morning on Scotty Wood.
How's your toast? Good. It's more than good. It's perfectly golden brown and buttery. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> How are your eggs? Um, they were good, but a little runny. I like them that way. Not me. Serious? Yeah, disgusting. I can't believe you don't like them. You're disgusting, Jack. Really. for something. Yeah, sorry about that, Sophie. I've been real busy, man. And you're right. I do need your help. What is it? Got your laptop charged up? Yep. Grab it. Let's go! What are we doing here? You've got to help me find her, man. Who? The nun. What nun? The nun. Oh. Just one nun? How many nuns could there be? Any number, if you think about it. I suppose.
going on? This is freaking me out. This is freak. This is freaking me. This is freaking me out. This is making me very uncomfortable. What is going? This is a dream. I'm still dreaming. What happened to my underwear? Mom? I'm still dreaming. I'm still dreaming. This is a dream. This is actually getting kind of boring. This is getting kind of boring. That was really weird. That whole thing was really weird, man. advance from VIX. This winter, there's wonderful news for cold sufferers. Now from VIX Laboratories comes new TriSpan, the tablet that works automatically for up to 12 full hours of relief. Not just four hours like ordinary tablets. Works automatically to relieve sniffling and sneezing all day long. Works automatically to relieve nasal congestion and stuffiness all night long. Here's what this unique 12-hour tablet does. One, its outer layer dissolves in minutes, speeds quick relief from nasal congestion, headache, that achy feeling. Two, TriSpan's inner time core helps keep head clear up to 12 hours, releases measured medication automatically. You feel so much better, you hardly know you have a cold. Get TriSpan. It works automatically for up to 12 full hours, not just four. TriSpan, new from VIX.
What's this, dessert? Shh. Keep it quiet. What can I do for you? Anything you like. What if I don't like? You will. <laughs> you dirty little dumb broad! What's going on oh, here? She was after him. I'd like to know what you were doing over here. Oh. Maybe she was after Mike the night they caught us. I'll oh, kill her. Shut up, both of you. Go get some sleep. Dude! Come on! Now cut out the fighting, because next time I'm going to knock you both cold. Get going. Stay out of trouble, mister. I'll kill you. I haven't got much of a choice. No, you haven't. Freaky girl drowned? Nah, she's just holding her breath. Did you see the lungs on her? Oh, yeah. She'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry for what? Sorry for not saving her life. Making you risk your life. Yes, every available man. I want that entire area surrounded. Tell any man that gets too close, I'll personally break him. Slightest suspicion, Lieutenant Hampton's through. Yeah? No, only one helicopter. Personally tell the pilot not to get too close. He mustn't hover over the scene. This is Chopper 26 hovering over the scene. You idiot, he said to not to. Oh, f me. What's the matter with that unit on the left? All right, pull him back. We must not risk being seen. Okay, a lore addendum. Here we go, now, lore addendum. You have a problem with gun smoke. You guys have a problem with gun smoke. It's I old. have a problem with gun smoke. It's Mannix old. replaced it on Saturday oh, night. I remember. Gun smoke was canceled after 12 seasons. It's old. Gun but the, old. they had to have gun smoke back. The head of CBS and his it wife sucked. loved it. it. Was old. They put gun smoke back on Monday night. It was too old. Cost us a fourth season of Gilligan's Island. That's right. It was old. That's it my was old. problem Listen with gun that. smoke. Listen to that. But old. then gun smoke went another eight years. I remember Mannix and I enjoyed it. That other stuff, old. Gnarly, rotten, funky. Ugh. What a one more Gilligan. 
once upon a time, a little bambina named Red Riding Hood was take a basket of goodies to her sick grandmama. Good things to eat like Del Monte Zucchini. Ah, there's a wolf in the bush. And this wolf just loved Del Monte Zucchini. Those delicate little wedges of Italian squash simmered in rich, flavorful tomato sauce. Delicious. He runs ahead to grandmama's house. Soon comes the Red Riding Hood. Grandmama, she said, what a big nose you got. Better to sniff that the lovely Del Monte Zucchini, he said. And Grandmama, what a big mouth, she said. So I can eat lots of wonderful Del Monte Zucchini, he said. With that, out pops Grandmama from a kitchen with a big steaming bowl of Del Monte Zucchini squash. They taste. Mmm, they all say. Del Monte Zucchini, that's the last word in the vegetable. It's just the gosh darn rickshaw. Nobody's even gonna care. Leave it out there. I'll be back in a minute. Get in here, would hey, you? Hey, Steve, what's going on, big man? Not too much. I'll oh. tell you what, you guys missed a real good time over at Nasian's the other day. Oh, dude, uh, what they was had a that? Pretty nice doings. They had the polka bands playing. Ooh. They had the dancing. Oh, no, that I they like the dancing. They put on a real nice feed bag. They oh, had they the do. chicken and the turkey in the hand. They had the oh. veritable corn basket of pickled goods. Oh, you hit me they in the face with something just a second. Yeah, that's oh, part of what they had over there. I, just can't tell. I think I just got some of the ham. They had like, to pickle the pig's the... feet. They had to pickle the pig's testicles. Oh, I had that. They had the popcorn balls, which you don't see very often anymore. Well, I used to get the popcorn balls and the pig's testicles come, you know, mixed up. Yeah, well, eat them yeah, together, it's... it's not too bad. Oh, no, little... but the kids freak out. Let me tell you that much. Little caramel corn. Oh. Then the Testicle. Yeah, one time I had te- handed out testicles. Like a big burrito I handed out testicles for Halloween one year. That was not good. <laughs> yeah, that popcorn ball got that's that mixed bad, up. That's a bad trick to no, be playing on people. Yeah, that's when the authorities came that that's year. Very unusual. Yeah. That's unusual. Oh, you'll be watched. Oh, it's bad, my friend. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, no problem. Josie, how many more thousand miles do we got to go? About five more miles. Rough, I don't want to try it at night. Let's stop at the first good place. Are you sure you can find them? blindfold me and I could find him. I sure would have liked some help to bend the loop. <laughs> if Nicky was here, he'd be ordering you around just like he always did. You know what? I miss being told what to do. Oh, that looks like a good place. Go pull in there. For us. How do you figure we're going to get the diamonds out of here? Take a powder. Sure I can't help you? I think we can manage without you. Get lost. Too bad. Nice guy. Huh. He's nothing. Hey, any chance of promoting a drink of water? I'll get him some. Have a drink. Don't mind if I do. I don't get it. You will. Just what is it with you? Thanks. We gotta get some wood before it gets dark. I'll get some. You want that one? <laughs> no, I'll I'll pass. I'm in enough trouble already. <laughs> or what? They mustn't hear. Why don't you tell me the story of your life? Before I went into crime? You were never in it. <sighs> now, don't tell my friends. Are you all right? Oh, sure, just great. Wrist sore? Not too sore. Try that again and I'll kill you. Now what's going on? Oh, I was just checking his ropes for the night and he tried to get fresh. You sure it wasn't your idea? I'm sure. Well, I'll check him. How's that? I didn't have to cut off his hands. Says who? Cut it out, you two. Looks like your buddy here kind of goes for this guy. I always notice you're around to protect him. So what? So I don't like it, that's all. I think there's something between them. Better stay away from him. That's no strain. 
That game gripes me. Well, knock it off and let's get some shut-eye. Yeah, sure, Warden. You're gonna go for that dame, don't you? Bother you, Red. I wouldn't. Hey, Josie! Keep an eye out for those gators, will you? I'd like to get out of here the same shape I got in. Well, that could be improved. Yeah? Says who? Hey, isn't Vera coming in? Nah, she's still asleep. She must think we're working. Hey, you! Get out of here! Beat it! Nice morning for a swim. Josie, get him out of here! But Billy, I thought you liked him. It's different in the daylight. Wouldn't you like to go for a swim, Bob? Josie, I told you, make him go away! They say the water's fine. She's only kidding. I am not! Any chance of getting my hands untied? Maybe. Josie, make him go away. Make him go away. I think you better go back to camp. Well, I guess you're outvoted, Josie. Thanks anyway. Vicky, <laughs> forgot you were there. <laughs> Do you know a prancer or a blitzen? think when you got girls in the boat and everything like that, has that happened for you at oh, all? I like to pull the boat with the girls. I sure Although we're having a little trout keeping Bob's wife in the house. <laughs> she got declared a planetary body the other day and he oh. thinks that's the greatest thing in the world. I tell him that don't mean beautiful, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've always, you cut right to the chase, my friend. That's what I love about it. I tell well, you yeah, what. Yeah, I mean, with just small bits. Oh, I know. I know. Hey, it's nice. We're going to get outside. I can tell you're ready to go. Let's get outside. Yeah, the weather's Let's nice. Enjoy. Oh, she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you shave that down, too, if you wouldn't mind? Man, what is that thing? It looks like he's got a Wolverine attached to his chest. Real men don't whack. Still tied score. 
And here's the tie-breaking question for Penella with her magic Etch-a-Sketch and her opponent, Maximilian, with his magnetic magnesticks. Ready? Draw or build the biggest animal in the jungle. It's the elephant. They're both right. How do they do it? Etch-a-Sketch draws and writes like magic. Turn the knobs and the lines go up and down and all around. No crayons, no chalks, never any mess. Turn Etch-a-Sketch upside down and shake and everything disappears. Magnastix builds things magnetically. No nails, no screws, no messy glue. You get over a hundred pieces to make trains, planes, animals, dolls, and pretty designs. Develop artistic and scientific skills with Etch-a-Sketch and Magnastix. They're kid-tested toys from the Ohio Art Company. hi -o. And now, it's time for Things We Like to Enjoy. Whoa, see? See, we did it all quiet. She thought, I'm just going to start. I'm just going ahead and start. That's nice. All right. What's the name of this segment? No, I know. Things, things we, we like, like to, to enjoy. enjoy. Things we like to enjoy. <laughs> now, in things we like to enjoy, we uh, basically bring in things that we, in fact, like to enjoy. Cool, but Cool knickknacks. Yeah, cool yeah. knickknacks and stuff. Stuff you might send in. If you know if there's letters or packages, that's stuff we like to enjoy. I mean, I, I personally like to enjoy... Uh, Shaving different parts of my body and uh, waiting to see the reaction on that, whether there's chafing or not. I, I enjoy that. That's it looks stuff like there's like. a lot of chafing on your face. I had uh, what I like Big to do. Big growth coming no, out of your yeah. neck. I'll hey, tell you what I really enjoy doing mom. is tying off my skin tags with. Uh, <laughs> I like to I tie dental off my floss. skin tags oh. with dental floss, and then they just die and fall off. I was there. I saw it. Yeah, let me tell you though. You better tie that tight because if you don't tie it tight, you're gonna have a very painful skin tag. Yeah. Let me tell you that from experience right there. All right. Today, yes. what we like to enjoy is. Grill. Dollar store grills. Okay, now for those of you who don't know what a grill is, uh, you know, obviously, now if you were with uh, Small Town Steve, a grill would be where you lay down your brats and your steaks and burgers and whatever. However, in certain other places, in a certain other era, a grill would represent some things that involve. Uh, it's a dental appliance that yeah, one would wear. Appliance. Is that what you call it? A dental it's appliance? A appliance. One would wear these dental appliances, and that would be then what That's they call a grill. So what you do is you fit in your dental oh, appliance. Yeah. And a lot of people, the only ones I've ever worn are the Dracula teeth. But here now, <laughs> I might not be able to talk as bling, well. Bling. I'm going to put in the full <laughs> yell baby. Bling, bling. Yo, baby, here we go. Yeah, we all feel stuff with the gin and the juice. Okay, here yeah. we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Yeah, 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 the, the problem is it has to involve the tongue way too much. Uh, the tongue has to, has to sneak into it. Oh, man. Hi, everybody. We're going to head back and watch yeah. more of Nedigan's stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nedigan's stuff. Nedigan. 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 Nedigan.
ropes hurting your wrist? What wrist? I wish I could untie you. I wish you could, too. Hurry up! If I weren't tied, we could jump them now. What makes you think I want to? You do. If one of us were wounded, we'd never get out of here alive. Why don't you let me in on the secret? So where do you figure in this? I'm just an average American crook. Josie's watching. Found the shovel! It's right here. I can feel it. Watch out with that thing. Ah, who needs it? I've got it. Oh, take some more on that end. I got my hand in it. I'll watch it now. All right. Here it comes. Pull it up. Pull it up. Uh, there it is. Man, that's what I'm here for. Oh, you and me both. Well, open it, Josie. Open it up. Here, I'll do it. Now hold it. You want to set the thing? Now stand back. Watch it, Billy. You got it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Well, I got to... Uh. I bet you couldn't bring yourself to do a quarter of the digging. Easiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, man, it's raining diamonds. Look, you can just wait till you get your own share to rain oh, with. Oh, you can cut it out knocking me around now that I'm rich. Look, you rascal. You for it. No. Party pooper, party pooper. Forget these things in the boat. Guess we better tie you up again. It's getting to feel natural. No, you're not such a bad guy. You're okay yourself, Josie. Too bad you're so square. I never could figure you legit, guys. Guess I was just brought up wrong. Be careful, mister. I don't like to be laughed at. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. Big Mouth. Do you have to hit him when his hands are tied? I'd hate to hit him when they wasn't. Let's get going. That suits me. Man, I'd like to get out of this dump. Well, there ain't much you can do around here with or without diamonds. Hey, Josie, you figure they got the swamp surrounded looking for us? Oh, they surround us, all right. But they got a big area to surround. We'll get out of here. Bet you want to stay here. Sing that again. Things we like to enjoy. Yeah. God, yeah. Where does that awesome. come from? See, I don't well, know. I know, but where it does comes that from? The diaphragm. The I know. Diaphragm. Well, the neat part is you can have Sometimes one and wear one. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Oh. I can only have one. You could actually have two if you wanted. <laughs> I also thought that was the funniest birth control in the world. A giant rubber cup. What a yeah, good idea. That, yeah, with very a, smart. With a 63% oh. success rate. Ooh. Excellent. That's, that's why I don't yeah. use that. That was know? right. That was always yeah. a funny one, I thought. You know, huh? That's <laughs> Tupperware. How does that big ass thing get in there? <laughs> Sam's periscope. You see him, but he can see you. You locate the master spy. You talk to him. And Secret Sam's hidden camera is taking his picture right now. Suddenly you're discovered. Secret Sam fires bullets from inside the case. Secret Sam has barrel extension. 
special missile sends message to your partner. Mission accomplished. You hand over real photograph. Secret Sam with periscope, message missile, rifle stock, barrel extension, even shoots through this carrying case. And this real camera that works in secretly or out. Takes real photos. Secret Sam. I'm getting frustration with the cat fighting that keeps getting busted up by Josie. I know, I know, I know. Josie. I know, cat fighting, cat fighting is all, let's, let's on three. We got to really, let's deliver it. Let's not have, we're just, it's all about the hiss. It's not about the body move. Here now, two dudes that know how to hiss. On three, one, two, three. See, a lot of dudes will go, or yeah, whatever, or yeah. hiss. It's not that. It comes from now. That one we there. Let's do it on three again. One, two, three. That is quality. We are dancing, men who friend. have cats. Hey, hey, that's right. Men who you know have that. cats. You know that. That's true. Ex that's exactly that's right. True. And that doesn't make us any less manly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know a lot of you girls out there are going. And how you're men with cats? <laughs> I agree. Chiller Theater presents. Another Ned the Dead masterpiece. Some guys just don't give a damn. Roll it. The cliches are pleasant people, pretty much like you and me. Good, middle-class, conventional American folk. Knee-deep in togetherness. You can all spot the cliches by their trademark. The toothy smile. Mr. Cliché is always tall, handsome, and of course, smiling. Except in insurance commercials, where he grows wistful, thinking of how secure and happy his family will be when he's passed on. Mrs. Cliché is always found in the kitchen next to her washing machine. Her uniform, shirtwaist dress, half apron, smile. Her husband is an oil rigger for Chesterfield cigarettes. Her problem? Stubborn stain. Will her detergent do the job? It always does in the wonderful world of commercials. Little Susan Cliché is always found at the breakfast table eating cereal. She just never seems to get enough of that crunchy goodness. Well, almost never. Junior Cliché spends his life in the bathroom where you'll find him brushing his teeth, and not sideways the way you and I do, but the right way, up and down. Not too much lather around the mouth, and always smiling. Lovely Helene Cliché. Her problem? Hard to manage hair. But fortunately, a friend told her about glue, the new magic hairspray. Will it work? Thanks to D.W. Griffith, who invented the cut in film, yes. And sometimes Homer is unknowingly offensive. A situation that's so delicate is always handled in commercials with subtlety and good taste. You'll know them by the way they lift their beers and toast each other. Again, and again, but never drink. By the way they light and smoke their cigarettes. With all the money from those residuals pouring in, why shouldn't they smile? Every time it rains, it rains, and each time it rains.
I think I'll go to Alaska and sit on one of them glacier things for a month of Sundays. So if you were up there, then you'd want to come back here again. Here's one place I'd never want to come back to. Unless somebody buries some more diamonds for me. Josie, how much you figure they're worth? Oh, half a million. I told you what the fence said. He'll at least give us 200 grand. Yeah, I'm sure going to see him. 200 grand. Man, that's a lot of loot. You said it. I guess that's 50 grand a piece, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound like so much that way. Guess it'll have to do. You know, that Vera's a mean dame. With that gun of hers, I bet she gets herself into trouble before she ever gets a chance to spend it. So that's her problem. I could sure do without that Lee, too. She thinks she's so smart. You don't like nobody tonight, do you? Josie, how'd you like to have a hundred grand apiece instead of fifty? Billy's got mad math skills for a blonde. Who knew? I'd like it. Listen, Josie, it wouldn't be any trouble to get rid of them, too. Easy. Then you and me could split even. A hundred grand apiece. Are you sure you wouldn't like that whole two hundred grand all for yourself? Oh, Josie, you know I wouldn't do nothing well, you to you. Dirty, dumb little two-timer. I don't know nothing about you except that you make me sick. Look, we came into this four ways, and that's the way we're going out unless you'd like to try something, get yourself out of the deal. Now get out of here before I break your dirty little neck. But Josie, get out of here. <laughs> What's she doing? Would you keep it down? You'll wake the movie. Who knew Vera was so stealthy and cat-like? Oh, we know she fights like a cat. Okay, Billy. Go back to sleep. like it when you got there. I don't want to kill you. I really don't want to kill you. I've got the diamonds and the guns. You come with me and don't make a sound. Josie! 
They got my gun. Mine, too. The diamonds! That crazy, sneaky little... The boat. Hey, it's still here. Why do you suppose she didn't take the boat? Why did she take Bob? Couldn't you see she was crazy about him? I guess so. Come on, let's go. Where? Well, after her. Where else? Now, wait a minute. Very smart, and she's clever. There's got to be a reason why she didn't take that boat. Yeah. Why didn't she? Seems to me she wanted us to come running after her. You can't let her get away. Well, I'm not about to go running into a bullet, either. I don't know how she did it. First thing we've got to do is find out where she's at. But how? And we better see her before she sees us, because she'll kill us. Just like that? Well, I guess the first thing is to find their trail. where they went. She probably held a gun on him. Remember I told you she wasn't no good. It wasn't exactly a surprise to me. Look, if she went through this mess, I guess we can too. Now remember, she sees us, we're dead, so keep it quiet. Okay. Josie, what are we going to do when we find her? Oh, beats me. Well, then why do we have to? Oh, let's do one thing at a time. Come on. Hey, everybody. Cat Moon Pa here. How you doing, <laughs> my friend? Oh, that ain't good. The, the, the crazy, angry girls got all the guns. Oh, yeah, well. This is not going to play out well. Well, in real life, it plays out poorly, but for movies, it plays out great, I think. <laughs> That's who you want to have the game. Gun. You know, I don't want... Something's happening. You know, in regards to a television show, I don't want the responsible person to have all the guns. You know what yeah, I mean? Where's I the you, fun in that? Yeah, get the, give the whacked-out person the guns. <laughs> Those are the people, you know, I mean, that's what makes a movie fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, if we like giving, giving you or me the guns. Bad idea. Let's see the hand. I thought so. Scram. Same thing every night. Three trips to the bathroom. Well, not tonight. I got a special soap. Lather soap gets hands clean with one wash. Kids need a soap with something extra to make up for the half-hearted effort they put out. Kids need lava. The hand soap with pumice. Lava for kids. Hey, great. You too, Buster. Lava gets hands clean the first time. Hey, everybody, it's the Dead Dead Show. I just want to say a little something about sponsorship opportunities. You know, if you have a company out there and you're thinking, hey, times are tough, I don't have that much money to spend, but I want to spend it somewhere where I reach the yeah. right people, target the right audience. You know what, friends? Yeah. Couldn't be a better opportunity than the Ned the Dead Show. You know, you're getting a quality, the Ned the Dead Show. Then the Ned the Dead Show. That's why you want to spend your money right here. You know what? Look around, friends. We're talking about the quality 3D graphics. We're talking about a real, <laughs> locally originated show with a couple of dudes who've been down the pike once or twice on the Dead the Dead show. Thank you. And Sorry. we represent Sorry. an opportunity for you to enjoy for your business and to reach the gigantic audience which yeah. you're a part of right now. You want a piece of this? Right. You're, right. you're probably thinking, well, who watches that show? You do. Come on. Enough said. Hey, listen, it's eight-year-old John Carpenter, already working on his famous movie theme music for Halloween. How long do we play this game? Until it's over. Behind here. How did she ever get up in that tree? She's there, all right. But how did she ever get up there with all those guns? If I know Vera, she's got them lined up like a shooting gallery. Looks like Bob's okay. Sure, she goes for him. We could spread out and brush her from three sides. That's exactly what she expects us to do. Is she a good shot? Oh, she can hit anything she can see. Yeah, if we were to rush out there, we'd all three be dead before we could reach her. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let me think a minute. Now, she figures that she can shoot us, but we can't shoot her. 
got nothing to shoot her with. That's right. So if we could shoot her, the surprise would be on our side. Yeah, that'd be a real surprise, all right. Come on, I got an idea. make these when I was a kid. Got a couple of rats with them once. Sure hope you can get one more. How far do you think you can throw it? I'm not exactly the smallest girl in the class. Now you two girls circle around. And then when I whistle like I told you, get her to take a shot at you. You gotta get her to take a shot at you. But don't do it so good you get yourself killed. Understand? We'd better. And I sure hope you can throw that thing. I do too. Now go on. be afraid of snakes. I know, the color is drained from his whole world. I got her, come on! She's dead. Are you okay? A lot better than I was. She's dead, all right. Real dead. Really, really dead? Really, most sincerely dead. Fine fool. That snake almost got you. There's one thing I can't stand at snakes. Can't you get rid of it? I didn't care much for this one either. Another second and I'd have been dead. She shot it? Yeah. Before the spear got her? No, afterwards. Last thing she did before she fell. She always was a good shot. Funny thing. She always wanted to kill, kill anything. And the last thing she did was save his life. Uh -uh. The last thing she did was kill a snake. You know, it's getting late, but it's not getting <laughs> unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? It's still funny, ain't it? Let's yeah, call. What's it is. up? You know what? Here's the plan. Tell me. Let Vera shoot at you. Okay. But don't let her hit you. Right. That's the plan. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if it involves yeah. gunplay, that's always the plan as far as I'm concerned. Serpentine. It's the not is to be serpentine. <laughs> How about you? Let's cut back up and be serpentine. Oh, I always drop my mic oh. when I go serpentine. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what, that's when the crew just go crazy. Ned, quit going serpentine, loser. You know, my mic <laughs> stops flying around. They just they hate when I go serpentine. Yanking <laughs> cords out of their things, wrecking stuff. I'm staying steady. Wow, Jenny can come to the prom. Brother? I gotta rent a tuxedo. Oh, Jimmy! Oh, now he should have brushed his teeth. You're right. Brushing after meals is important to help fight decay. And if you can't brush after every meal, brush often and use Gleam. Between brushings, a harmful deposit of food and bacteria forms on teeth. Proper brushing with Gleam removes most of this harmful deposit. So brush often, even if you can't brush after every meal, and use Gleam. Beep, 
You figured you watched yeah. all that time and now we bring oh, out that stuff? I swallowed my grill. <laughs> <laughs> you swallowed it, he's grill. It's actually not grill. grill. I wanted to say that grill before. Gone. It's not grill, it's grill. Where my grill go? It is. It's just the way I like to say it. That's just the way I am. Hey, everybody. Next week's movie is Night Night Fright. Fright. It's all right. That's right. Although if we tell them it's Fright Night, they might be more likely to tune in. Is it? Yeah, but But it is in fact Night Fright. Darn it. I was thinking, dang, that's a pretty good movie for us to have. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. But again, it's better. Ina, better than it was before, Ina. Ina. You know what I'm saying? Hey, at least these are movies, right? They're fresh. Fresh. They may not taste good, but they're fresh. (laughs) You know, as opposed to movies that taste like crap and are horribly, are spoiled. A little freezer burn, maybe. (laughs) Yeah, maybe a little bit. Again, may not taste good, but it's fresh. That's what we offer right here, everybody, because we love you. Slightest suspicion, and they'd just as soon kill Lieutenant Hampton as look at her. It doesn't matter now whether we're seen or not. The important thing is to make contact. Sure, it's a big jungle, but we've got a big force out there, haven't we? Now get on it and let's make that contact. All right. Dick, come in here, will you? I can hardly wait to get to that fence and turn these diamonds into spending money. Yeah, me too. How much is a cut three ways now, huh, Josie? Seems to me you'd like to get to that fence too, Lee. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I got one of my own. Oh? Well, maybe he could give me a better price. For me and Billy. Well, I guess they all pay about the same. You never know. How would I get in touch with him? I'd rather keep that to myself. Well, that's a fine way to act after all we've done for you. It hasn't been a one-way street, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't think it's very... Forget it, Billy. Well, we should be out of here in a couple of hours. It's sure gonna seem funny without you ordering me around, Josie. Gonna seem funny without you and Vera squabbling all the time, too. Yeah. Sure will. someone? Aren't you? They probably got this whole jungle surrounding. Yeah, maybe. Poor old Vera. She should have let that snake get Bob. What do you mean? Save us the trouble. Oh, Josie. Can't you think of no other way? He's cute. He may be cute, but as long as he can dock, we got a couple extra murder rats. Look, why don't, why don't you just tie him up and leave him? Why should we? We're close to the edge of the jungle. A gun shall bring whoever's looking for us a running. What makes you so sure somebody's looking for us? You sure don't like gunshots, do you? Not when they attract attention and get us caught. You don't like them when they kill anybody, either. No, not especially. I wonder if you've got any guts. She sure don't like to see nobody get hurt. Not when it's not necessary. Seems to me that this one's necessary. But the sound will bring them. There won't be any sound. Would you like to try it? Why should I? It's not my idea. Might make us all feel a little closer. Yeah. Why should we be the only ones with a murder rap on our heads? Make me feel like I could trust you. Okay. Give me your gun. Why should I? I'll kill him for you if you want. Give me the knife. It's just a little late. Give me your gun.
Everybody, all right, time to wrap her up here. Nice oh, you. nice yeah. seeing you now. Back all right, don't be turning yet now. Oh, come on, let's go. We got TV to, gosh darn it, we got TV to take care of. Everybody wants to, they love the greeting part. Because yeah, that's what we do at the, everybody. I know, that's what we do when the show's the over. We yeah, everyone likes to watch show. the TV, yeah. nobody, nobody wants to make it. I know, it. but we got to finish the show first. Okay. Really? Yeah, we do what this show? for a while. Well, look, I mean, the light's on. Then he goes turn, and that's when we turn and greet. Oh. Even though we know each other for how long. <laughs> but we act like, oh, rah, rah, rah. all right, there's the turn and greet. Now we oh, turn. Right. Right. Well, hey, hey, I haven't hey. seen you in a long time. Wow. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace awesome. be with you. Have you heard the good news? Thanks for watching Ned the Dead and Duck Moreau. Remember to check out their stuff at nedthedead.com. Yeah.